Pete Hanscom, Sam Robson. I'll start with the skipper. Well, actually, I'll start with a uh, question on Robbie White, if that is, that's okay. How, how's he doing? Uh, I mean, as good as you can expect when you've dislocated your shoulder. So uh, I guess we just have to sort of have to wait and see how he recovers in the next couple of days. Uh, I think the x-ray was, was pretty good, but it's not up to me to, to read those. I'll leave that up to the support staff to figure that out. And on that win, how special was it? Uh, it was an incredible win. Incredible win to chase down uh, a, a big total. Um, you know, within well, 74 overs or whatever it was, is is an incredible effort from the boys. Something we probably didn't think um, think of at the start of the innings, just just sort of getting through, and then yeah, we sort of saw the moment there and, and tried to take it. Sam, how special was that knock for you? Yeah, it's up there. As Pete said, I think any time you chase, you know, north of sort of 300, um, it's a big effort. But yeah. Um, Amazing day, really. Didn't I? Don't think it was on anyone's radar. I think, um, yeah, we just tried to get through the new ball at the start. We knew that would be a threat, and then save the game, really. And then, yeah, T, we had a bit of a bit of a chat and sort of realised that, it, you know, we, we were in the hunt. And yeah, special day. Four hundred runs in your last two innings at Hove. <laughs> You'll be keen to come back down here again soon. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, again, this week it was a, it was a good wicket, and um, yeah, I think you know, shortish one side today. A few things went our way, but. Um, yeah, again, good place to bat today, and things fell into place. So yeah, really special win. He said he's in the, you know, he's never going to give up on playing for England. He's in the form of his life at the moment, isn't he? The last few years, he's been up there. I mean, as a ex opponent, yeah, how close do you think he should be? Should he be back in that side soon? I think there needs to be conversations around it. Definitely. I mean, the, the team obviously sounds like it's going through a bit of a, a restructure, and people that are putting putting together good innings and, and have, you know, Robbo's obviously been putting putting it together now for the last yeah, three, four years again, so um, uh, which is pretty well in test cricket, he'll hate me saying all of this, but um, I mean there's no, there's no reason why not, we've, we've seen that he can make rounds opening the batting for England, so I'd like to see it. And for this team, Sam, um, you know, it's been a tough few years um, since that title in 2016, but a great start to the season this year. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, amazing. I mean, I think the first first couple of wins at Glamorgan and then and then last week were obviously sort of quick three day affairs but yeah I think this one this was a tougher week and you know as I said things went away today and, and it was a great chase but um, yeah to win to win in this style as well is, is very pleasing so yeah hopefully we can we can keep it up. Last thought Pete on that partnership what did you say when you came to get you know Rocky's gone at the beginning is it just take it long in a chase like this and then see where you are later in it? Yeah well it's pretty much save the game first uh, get yourself to a position where you can't lose it, um, and, and so we felt, you know, we we're pretty confident that we could we could uh, bat out the draw after after T, uh, and we knew the new ball was going to be the threat, uh, as Robbo said. So let's just get through that, then bat long, and then yeah, reassess when we when we did it T. And how how different does it feel this year for Middlesex? It looks as though a side that's been underachieving for a long, long time now since that 2016 title. It looks as though things are starting to come together. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't think we're playing a lot differently than what we were last year. I think you saw at the back end of last year, the boys put together four good wins, playing good cricket then, um, but just had some tough teams to play at the start of the year, uh, you know, Div 1 teams. So, you know, the, the boys are playing with some confidence now, um, and it's good, and we're putting back-to-back back -to -back wins and back-to-back -back performances together. Um, yeah, like I said, the, 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 they started to do it at the end of last year. So there's a lot of confidence there, and, and hopefully they, or we can just keep moving forward. Incredible job. Thanks, lads. Thank you.